Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Metra AV Tech Tip Solutions. Uh, this is the episode where we talk about our specific products uh, as a solution to whatever we talked about last Wednesday. Now, if you watched last Wednesday, uh, you will know that we spoke with uh, Ben, uh, a mommy, from uh, uh, American Lighting. <clears throat> specifically the, the Prolux, that he's part of the, the, the LED uh, lighting solutions over there. Uh, and we spoke with him about designing a lighting system using the LED strips uh, and things to look out for when you're designing those. And one of the things that he mentioned, of course, is how to get power from wherever the power supply is over to where the controller is. And of course, he mentioned our cables for that. So what I have here with us today, and you can see I've got the box back here for it as well, is our 14 uh, gauge four conductor speaker wire. Now, normally you wouldn't think of using speaker wire as something other than speaker wire. So I wanted to show you what this has, what it does, and also how else you can use this in different applications. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and give you a top down shot so we can see that there. Uh, as always, if you all have any questions about whatever it is that I'm talking about today, or if you have questions about whatever we talked about on this Wednesday's episode, feel free to go ahead and put it over in the chat section, or you can put it in the comment section down below. Now, <clears throat> what we have here, of course, is our 14 gauge uh, four conductor wire. I've cut off just a little short length of it here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to strip this back so that we can see inside of it. So we'll just do a little bit of stripping action with the side cutters, get that out of the way. And now we've got our conductors inside. Now, inside the conductors here, of course, pretty straightforward. We have our black, red, white, and green conductors inside of there. Uh, and because this is 14 gauge, it's gonna be a little bit thicker than the 16 gauge, which we do have in, uh, as well. But with this 14 gauge wire, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna strip back here just a little bit so we can take a look at what we've got going on here. And actually, we've got some nice shiny copper there. Now this is, uh, this is oxygen free copper. And so the important thing to note about this is that it's not uh, any kind of steel or copper clad steel or copper clad aluminum. It is copper through and through. Uh, and uh, when you buy this, the 144C-BW, uh, uh, is the one that I'm specifically talking about today. The box comes at, at a 500 foot roll. So you wanna uh, make note of that whenever you're doing your runs uh, or whenever you're specking out your jobs. Now, what I wanna do from here is I want to show off what this looks like when we go in and do just a, a close up shot. So I'm gonna pull up my camera app here uh, and I've got our little microscope hooked up to it. Here we go. Okay, so we'll get this laid out here. And then what we'll do is we'll actually hit the right buttons and we'll switch over to that. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. <coughs> so if we zoom in here, we'll see that that's the black shielding that I just stripped off. And then we've got all of our nice shiny copper again this is uh oxygen free copper uh, on that <coughs> pardon me um so with this oxygen free copper the nice thing to, to know about this is that uh, because it's oxygen free, it helps to make sure that we don't uh, degrade the quality of the signal as well as over time uh, the cable itself won't degrade uh, as quickly. Now it is copper, of course, and so you, you can wind up with a little bit of a, a patina on that, uh, but it's really good high, high quality oxygen free copper. Um, so <clears throat> as always, everyone, feel free to reach out to uh, your sales rep as well as, uh, or your distributor to find out availability and pricing for it. <coughs> Pardon me, getting a little bit of a coughing fit. Um, Reach out to your sales rep or your distributor to find out availability and pricing. Uh, this is the 14 gauge uh, four conductor is what we're talking about today. We also have a two conductor and 14 gauge. We also have a 16 four and a 16 two as well. So again, if you need any of those sizes, reach out to your sales rep or reach out to your distributor to find out about availability and pricing. And we'll let you know more about that at that time. So um, now, <clears throat> where would you use speaker wire other than as speaker wire? Now. 
the speaker wire, of course, pretty straightforward. 14 gauge is if you need to uh, pass through a lot of power or if you need to go longer distances, 14 gauge is perfect for that. <clears throat> but the nice thing is, is that it's just copper. So because it's just copper, what you can do is you can use this for just about any other electrical signal or any other electrical power. So for instance, if you need to power up something uh, with say a 12 volt or a five volt power supply, you can actually use this uh, conductor inside of here for that, if you just solder something to it, and so you can extend that out further. And again, the same properties for the speakers <clears throat> or the, the, the audio signal applies to a power signal as well. The more copper you have, the longer distance that it's going to be able to go without losing any of that power or as much power. So that's where you can use this. Now, don't forget also, it's copper. You can use this in applications where say you have IR that you need to pass back from a certain location. Have some of this in there if, uh, that's left over from a previous setup. You can use that, uh, that copper inside of there with your IR system as well. So don't forget, if you've got copper in the wall, it solves a lot of problems. And so don't forget that having speaker wire there can solve those problems as well. So with that said, one last time, Reach out to your sales rep or your distributor for availability and pricing. Uh, and if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us directly. Uh, you can reach us here at 386-492-8584. Uh, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. <coughs> Pardon me. As always, remember to reboot early, reboot often. Don't cut your wires too short. Turn off CEC and call tech support. I'm Adam. Good luck to you. We'll talk to you next time.